got a loop end and a tail end. We're going to take the loop end and go around the tree with it. Trying to keep the strap from twisting as you come around the tree and then feed the tail through the loop all the way through and then you can pull it tight to face the tent. The tail goes through the D-ring. And then the ratchet goes through the tail. Just allow that to pass through the D-ring. We're gonna take the tail and we're gonna thread it through the ratchet. So we're gonna go like that and then over or under, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna pull out all the slack. And then we want to make sure that the ratchet is in fully closed position so that this bar sits behind the little nick. So to find your space equal to tension between three trees with a trillium fabric or a uh, vista, you're gonna, look, that's not gonna work. So slide it that way. Mm, that's not gonna work. Okay, and to me and you back a little bit as well. I think that's looking good. Vista poles are a bit chunkier than poles to our other models. And they should run straight down from a corner to the middle of an edge and then tuck into the socket at the end. So we're just going to do each other's ones. And then we can take out the Vista fly sheet. And this goes together just like the other ones with the toggle and the loop coming together. And then the hook coming through and joining that. Good. And then take the end of your rods and bend them sideways. Bend them sideways and into the socket that you've got here. Okay, and then I'm gonna get in in order to write, write the poles. One. two, three, and if you can bring them together, you then just tie the tie around all of them. And then clip the poles into their C-clips. Keep them in place if there's a wind. should be three corners that we can decipher. <laughs> so spread the fly sheet out. Some more C-clips that will find their right place. And a central one. And then finally come under the tent, bringing your hook and your loop together. That should be your vista. If 
If you release the middle C-clip, then you can actually use the center piece of the fly as a luggage store. Everyone can throw their shoes and coats up there. During the day, you can undo all of the, uh, the lower insect mesh catches and um, throw it inside itself so it's ready for the evening but doesn't spoil your enjoyment of the floor and the shade. The Vista is really good for uh, dry weather and light rain but um, if there's a lot of rain what happens is the rain comes down here and it runs down the uh, underside of the floor and actually gets sucked through the stitching into the um, seat belt and once the seat belt is saturated the water will seep into your trillium. So what we do is we can unhook these if it's this is uh, if you want to use your Vista in rainy weather. So use that there as normal and clip it to the back of your floor strap and then you can tie a bungee to your two sides that you've just released, peg them out to the ground, which will give you much better rain coverage. When you're undoing the Vista poles, just be careful that there's a bit of a kickback as the bend comes out of the pole. Just to take the Vista fly sheet off, and uh, you can tether or get a friend to hold the, the, uh, the tail. They'll just hold it and then bring the two other corners together and then you can fold it in half again so you've got the name written just there you can fold it in half as many times as you want it kind of saves you work at the end and then just kind of wind it up like that Take the air out. tie around that and you've got your Vista packed.